Hey guys, just thought I'd put a little video together of this incubator that I made. Um, I completely forgot to do a video while I was actually building it. Uh, that probably would have been a nice uh, how-to video or do-it-yourself. But um, anyway, I'll be able to just do a little update on this and show you guys how I uh, put, it, put it together. So the nice thing about this is that it's a wine cooler. I used a... A uh, broken wine cooler, which I picked up for 15 bucks, and I basically converted it into a heating device rather than a cooling device, and that's the whole idea, because you have the insulation from the refrigerator from the wine cooler. It's insulated uh, normally to keep it cool, but it works just as well uh, to keep something warm instead. So the basic idea with this is that you remove all the parts. Uh, that are going to be used for the cooling or that were used for the cooling so if we take a look at the back here uh, we'll see that I removed actually they used to be right here uh, there used to be an entire uh, cooling device uh, with the uh, couple fans and circuit board and everything and I just removed all that because it was completely unnecessary and what I did was um, I then took one of the fans, which was just a uh, DC uh, computer fan basically, a uh, small 12 volt model, and uh, there were three of them in the cooling device already, so I just used one of them, and I rewired it, now you can't see because it's on the inside, but I rewired it to work directly off a uh, regular plug. So then, if we come around and see here, I just took it and mounted it, let me see if I can get the light, to the top of the, uh, of the uh, uh, wine cooler here. So I just screwed it into the top and what this does is it's going to complete, uh, going to provide complete airflow throughout the device, throughout the incubator, so that it uh, pushes air downward because as we know heat rises. So this is going to push the heat back down and it's going to create a much more uh, stable heat throughout the entire incubator rather than the top be warmer and the bottom be cooler. So the next thing that I did, as you can see even though I bought it broken, the light still works and the display still works. Now the way that I got that to work was after I basically gutted all the unnecessary parts out of the back here. Um, I found where the light and display were powered by, which they are powered by these cords here. So I did not remove these, and I went ahead and wired them once again to a regular plug. And uh, one thing to note here is that you have to wire it to a plug uh, that is a um, DC model, because as you can see, these wires are much thinner than a normal wire that you would see in a in a normal uh, you know extension cord or anything like that if you're used to wiring that type of thing so then you just wire it to something like this uh, which these are like 12 volt or 9 volt uh, adapters you know phone chargers and what have you you just cut off the end uh, that's used to actually do whatever it was intended for and you wire it onto uh, this and this is the exact same way I have the fan wired and this is the way that I also have the light and the display wired. So like I said, gutted everything out, uh, wired the display uh, to a plug and I wired one of the fans to the plug. And uh, so the great thing about that was that I didn't need to buy any extra things, didn't need to buy any extra lights, no extra fans, nothing. They they were all kind of included in uh, in me taking apart this refrigerator. And then the last thing that you need to do, or that I did in this uh, incubator build, was that I uh, had to actually provide the heating element. So uh, these are actually just pretty much six quart tubs. And as you can see here, what I did was I took a piece of uh, 12 inch heat tape, uh, wired it as you would wire heat tape. I have a video of that. Uh, one of my previous do-it-yourself videos I showed how to wire heat tape so I'm not going to go over that again. 
but you basically just, once you wire it up, I used electrical tape. It's a bit dark in here, but I used electrical tape to uh, actually attach this to the back. So I just actually taped it along the back side here. And uh, you want to use around, from what I've heard, around 10 to 15 watts of heat tape per cubic foot of space in your incubator. So I used about uh, 22 inches here. That was around about what was necessary. And I just wired it up. Uh, and what I did with the wiring here, you can see, but I actually drilled a hole in the top to run my cord out of. And uh, this is then going to be plugged into a thermostat because obviously uh, it's not going to heat up to your desired uh, temperature on its own. So you've got to plug that into a, a thermostat and then set it on the exact temperature that you want. And uh, the, the fan should keep everything pretty stable. So I haven't tried it out with a thermostat yet, but the heat tape does work. The fan works. Everything works. Uh, so it's, it was a really very easy build and only took me, uh, you know, two or three hours to complete. Um, and, uh, basically it's very simple. You can pick up these wine coolers off Craigslist, um, or garage sales or anything. Like I said, it completely does not need to be working. Uh, oftentimes or not, the electronics will still work if you rewire them, like I just explained. Uh, because when I actually purchased this, uh, the electronics did not work. Something was wrong with the circuit board, but when I wired them uh, directly from the source to a plug, uh, they then worked. So that's something you can try. Uh, the great thing about this, like I said, I've got the light. I've got a digital uh, temperature reading of the inside, and it's fairly accurate. Obviously, you're going to want to double check these with a, um, a quality uh, a laser thermometer. But uh, I found that this is pretty accurate, so it's just a nice thing to be able to see uh, the temp inside of there. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, sorry I couldn't get a, a more detailed video, but if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching.